The president said what? I heard that President Biden was giving advice to realtors in the State of the Union speech. I looked through the transcript and I did not find it there, but I did find it. It was a few days after that at a campaign speech in Vegas. He picked a hornet's nest and he made me mad. But first, I'm going to tell you who the average realtors are, what she earns, and then I'm going to tell you what the president said she should do. I know there's a housing crisis. It's complex. In my opinion, there are several causes. Number one, the millennial generation is bigger than the boomer generation. Number two, in 2008, builders stopped building entry-level homes and they pivoted to building custom homes because it was the only way they could be sure to get a paycheck. Makes sense to me. And number three, Huge corporations like BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street are gobbling up rent houses all over the country. Own 300,000 homes. And they are price fixing the rents higher and higher and higher. Take Miami, Florida, for instance. They've had a 31% rent hike since 21. Mm -hmm. New leases are driving housing service inflation. That's not me talking, that's the Brookings Institute. They do this all day long, like they're a think tank and they just look at data and the economy. They're not just some realtor in Oklahoma. And number four, the interest rate is higher than we expected it to be. Those are all the reasons we're having a housing crisis. If you fixed one of them, we would still have the other three. You would have to fix all four of them to really remedy the problem. So. On to who the average realtor in the U.S. happens to be. The median income for realtors is $39,500, and that's gross. Remember, a realtor is a professional who's running her own business. She has expenses. You can subtract $5,500 in expenses every year for technology, for your MLS fees, for continuing education. She's got a lot of mileage on her car. She's got enormous dues to the National Association of Realtors. And then she's got to pay self-employment tax to the tune of $10,000. Subtract, subtract, subtract. She ends up walking away with $24,000 a year. She's typically 60 years old. She owns a home and she went to college. Maybe she didn't graduate. She has 11 years of experience. She works about 30 hours a week. She would work more except she's caring for her aging parents. Does 12 transactions a year. That's the national, median, and the typical realtor. We're out here selling three bedroom, two bath homes built in the 1980s. And they look like this. And they look like this, they look like this, they look like this, and they even look like this. I told you I would tell you what President Biden said, and now I'm going to tell you. On a typical home purchase, that alone could save folks an average of $10,000 on the sale or purchase. I'm calling on realtors to follow through on lowering their commissions to protect home buyers. I have to stop a minute. Sometimes I want to cuss. Who's next, Mr. President? Home inspectors? Should they work for $100 a house? What about lenders? You do know, don't you, that they add a percentage to the Federal Reserve rate's prime interest rate so that they can stay in business. Roofers, electricians, are they sticking it to us as well? Mr. President, the price of goods is one thing. The price of service is another, and you get what you pay for. If banks are forced to cut their fees, they'll be forced to cut their services. Maybe they'll cut back in the cybersecurity budget. I'm sure that bank will thrive. If the home inspector can only charge 100 a house, then he has to inspect three times the amount, four times the amount of houses to replace his income. He'll be forced to work faster, which will lead to missing things, and it'll lead to people moving into homes that have problems or in flood zones. Or maybe he'll leave the profession too. 
And when we have too few inspectors, it will lead to closings taking two to three months to complete. It's about the economy, stupid. We've all seen what happens when an industry collapses. The government steps in to rescue it and take it over. And then what happens to service? Can you imagine if they did that in our schools? Oh, wait, they did. Can you imagine what would happen if they did that to our health care? They did. You've all heard about the nursing shortage, right? You've all heard about the teacher shortage, too. Why not the real estate industry? Home price inflation wasn't caused by realtors. But somehow, slashing our commissions is going to fix the whole housing crisis. Wow. You know what I think might fix it? Slashing your fee, Mr. President. Or how about your friends over at the BlackRock company? If you're getting fired up about this too, put an emoji down below for me. I need to see this. Oh, our school teachers working on the side. We are grandmas. Make a little bit for our retirement. We are first generation immigrants. If you really cared for women, you would leave the waitresses and the grandmas alone and let us make a living. I started out as one of those teachers in the 90s. It was my dream job teaching music, singing and dancing with people all day until the tragic car accident that left me severely debilitated and in pain every day since. So for me, Real estate is a wonderful option where I can serve people, continue learning and educating without so much stress on my body. Realtors have no ability to control the cost of homes in a free market. None. I'm not upset with the president. He's clearly a very old man with many challenges, bless his heart. I can give him a pass, but I disagree profoundly with his cabinet, his advisors, and his speech writers who put things on the teleprompter for him to read. They have a very shallow understanding of the U.S. economic process. Goods and services are different. You can change my commission, and you might bring the price of homes down for six or nine months. Interestingly, that puts us right at the election, but, but eventually the house prices are going to go back up because if a seller can make more money, they will and they should. Why would the seller walk away from money? No seller will say, well, I was going to ask 400 but now that I don't have to pay that agent's commission, I'll let you have it for 390 well, Grandpa, the kids are having such a hard time. Why don't we give it to them for three fifty? Not even here in Oklahoma. I'm proud to be a realtor. It's a job in the service industry, and I love to serve my clients. And this is what Oklahomans sound like when we get really mean. Republicans, don't call me because I'm mad at you too. If you agree with me, Share this with your siblings and watch this about taking care of your parents. I'm Jen Kelsey. I work for The Real Brokerage, and I'm in Oklahoma City.